well, there we go. Steve Diamond Dale, you heard his thoughts of the what the fight's going to be like. He uh, hadn't had a hair transplant since then, but he's obviously done something, something pretty radical from the Diamond. And he'll have to be right on his game plan tonight, Rebel. He, he, he has to be, and he will be. He's in good form, training hard. He's uh, learned a lot from it. Uh, Daniel Tai. When he fought Daniel Tai, he gave away 10 kg. But um, he's going he's, he's gonna to have a good night tonight. I can feel it in my bones. Well, there's his opponent. He is fighting for the Balmoral League, Germany, from Auckland. He is wearing uh, the uh, yellow Adderida truck. He is the one and only Stephen Diamond Bethel. This about a consisted of a five, uh, two minutes of rounds and with one minute interval. The Dion Binning going to perform the Waikou. Dion has trained in Thailand. First thing you know, uh, that impresses me is the height of Dion Binning. That's right. He's uh, very tall, and um, he's come up in weight actually to have this fight, or he's going to campaign in this weight from now on. So um, he's very tall, very tall. Just about six foot. Yeah, well, Steve Dale, he, he's quite tall for this weight division too. He, he's five ten, but. Uh, but the difference looks a lot greater than that. Both boys back to their corners. Perry Hill comes to the centre of the ring, calls them in. This should be a really big... Well, we talked about the corners uh, early on in some of the other fights. Um, you're not going to get much more experience than the, in the corners in this fight. Lolo Hay Morley and Kerry Nugget McNaught. What do you expect the first round to be, Rebel? Um, well, I expect it to be a little bit of a filling out round. 
But don't be surprised if these boys let it go early. Very fit, very focused and hungry young men. But um, I will suspect that, that Steve Diamond will pace himself for the first round and as the fight progresses, the pressure will, will increase. Uh, well, Kerry McNaught, I asked him what his views on the uh, fight were. He thought it would be a very technical fight. And uh, the way it's shaping up in the early seconds of round number one, he could be very well right. of strength there. Yep, a nice little um, first time they clinks in that, that closely for that long, so they'll be able to find out who's the stronger of the two and who wants to carry on the knees and who wants to defend against them. Nice leg kick there. Steve Dale getting some nice kicks away. Oh, a beautiful uppercut there by the Australian Dion. In the round number one. Oh, big right hand starts around for Steve Dale. That looks like it could be a dangerous punch. Yeah, it's got to pop up now and then. Um, once you do the first one, you've got to try and get your opponent to forget it. Oh, nice right hand there. Well, Dion's toe testing. He said he was more off balance than anything. Here he gives him the count. the New Zealand champion up against the Aussie the Aussie champion oh. Steve's caught him a couple of times Dion saying that doesn't hurt me and Steve Dale looks sharp tonight yeah very exciting fight Steve Dale being warned um, from Terry Hill uh, for what I'm not quite sure. There goes that right hand lead again. Dion wants to mix it up with the knees. Steve Dale looking very sharp in round two. Didn't work Dion with the knees. Kerry McNaught, pretty right about the technical bit. Steve Dale tonight trying to put those predictions off track. Round three. Oh, yeah. Both boys. Oh, good kick from Steve. Oh. oh, some hard, hard punches going in there. Steve chasing him, got caught up in the top rope. Oh, 
Oh, this is a good fight, Rebel. Yeah, very hard kick, but the defense is very good too from Steve Dahl. In fact, from both both young men, the defense is very good. Nice kick there by Dion, caught um, Steve on the rib. Uh, didn't, didn't appear to hurt him. Oh, oh that's that Le upper, upper cut lead that he did before. That looks a dangerous one. It, it didn't fully connect his skin then, but um, it is something for Steve to look out for in the future. I'd like to see uh, Steve do a r another right hand lead about now. Oh, well, he just got caught with a big left hand as he went to do it. Dion Binning, relentless, pressing forward. The diamond back in his red corner. Dion goes downstairs. Steve comes up with the big left hand. And around three. Stick to what you're doing, there'll be a couple of adjustments that a lot of will make, but pretty much keep doing what you're doing because it's working well. Round number four, started by Dion Binning. That, that kick to the midriff has got through a couple of times. It has, but it doesn't appear, it probably does hurt, but uh, Steve is not showing it. So, Steve cutting off Dion quite nicely in the corner. Oh, that was a big right hand taken on the gloves. Now, although, although Steve Dale was beaten in his last fight against Daniel Ty, he looked really sharp. But unlucky to miss with that big right hand. Yep, you're right, he did look sharp in the, in the last fight. He was giving away 10 kg, which really um, showed. But, like he said... Oh, there's that other cut that we talked about. Yeah, Steve's been blocking it at this point. But it could be all over if one uppercut gets up. But I don't think Steve will let it get up. Yeah, we well, saying in the last fight, Steve's only got better and stronger because of it. Well, he's managed to absorb everything Dion's thrown at him so far. Dion has been the aggressor in the fight, taking it to him. But Steve doesn't mind that one little bit. Now, people here will be wondering why Dion's been going in. Looking for the knees, it's probably waiting a lot on the knees. Fifth and final round, South Pacific, welterweight title at stake. Oh, great left hand. And Steve Dale follows it up. And again, Steve Dale letting loose. Dion Binning says it hadn't hurt me. Big knee from Dion. Steve goes back to the center of the ring. Steve having a very good round for the last round. <coughs> Finishing the fight and, and um, can I say flying colors. A lot of mutual respect going on in there. Oh, good left-right combination. And now... Now Steve's starting to enjoy it. He's telling Kerry to come on in. <laughs> <laughs> well, the fight's not over yet, but oh, well time.
The confidence starting to ooze from Steve Dale. Yeah, when you're on fire, you're on fire. And there's nothing about his haircut. Steve wants to pour the pressure on. He wants to win in flying um, form. Yeah. Oh, two good left hands from the Diamond. And a third. And a fourth to end the fight. Wow. What a fight. Dion was frustrated. He couldn't get hold of him. And I think he knows. And they'll be good mates. They'll probably have a beer together tonight. What a flaming Lamagimi. That's the sportsmanship. The adrenaline's running high. And and Lolo's still got time to tell him what to do. Explaining the finer points to Steve Dale. Here's uh, the referee, Jerry Hill, called both fighters to the uh, centre of the ring. He has a uh, representative from uh, Driving Sound of Red James to present the awards for the season's first. Before we uh, announce the winners, ladies and gentlemen, how is it another great hand for the two fighters this evening? Well, it was a really good technical. Unfortunately, only one person can walk away with the belt, and the judges have decided that in a unanimous decision. In the red corner, Steve Diamondale, South Pacific, welterweight champion, and a deserved one too, Rebel. Very good fight, a lot of skill involved, and uh, very hungry boys. Good to see. Well, that brings the curtain down on what was a really interesting night. We saw the uh, super heavyweight Tristan Apikatoa. He was in there and uh, give the, got the crowd really going. The two girls, Sam Phillip, trained by none other than John the Rebel, up against Deirdre Stevenson. That was a really good bout. Sean Campbell continued on his way, as did Bevan Guest. And, of course, Steve. Dale, what more can you say? Great fight to win the South Pacific welterweight title. And making his way to the ring is a man many consider to be a dark horse. He is the Commonwealth champion. He is the man of steel. He is New Zealand's wrecking machine with the hardest leg kicks in the Oceania. It's Steve Dale.